Hello everyone, this is Kalpana here. In this video, we are going to solve a problem from higher order linear differential equation with variable equations. So we are going to solve the given second order linear differential equation using reduction of order method. So let's get going. Problem. Solve x y double dash minus of 2x minus 1 into y dash plus x minus y equal to 0. To solve by the reduction of order, we are asked to find Oh, sorry, solve the given differential equation using reduction of order method given that e power x is one integral part. So in this problem or if the problem is given like this, we are given a part of complementary function of the given equation. Okay. And here we are given that y power minus 1 is dy by dx and y power 2 is d square y by dx is square. Got it? Now let's solve this equation. Okay. We'll find CF of the given equation also. When we are given the first problem or in this form, we need to find CF using inspection method. Okay. See, we got e power x, right? So, y equal to e power x should be a complementary function. Okay. Let's see. Given differential equation xy double dash minus of 2x minus 1 into y dash plus x minus 1 into y equal to 0. Now we have to write the given differential equation in standard form of second order linear differential equation. For that purpose, we'll make the equation to y double dash to unity. Okay, for that we need to divide the whole equation with x or multiply the equation with 1 by x or you can split the equation to LHS equals to RHS form and then you can multiply both sides of the equation with 1 by x or divide both sides of the equation with x okay see if you split this equation like this we can multiply both sides of the equation with 1 by x or we can divide both sides of the equation with x if you multiply both sides of the equation with 1 by x you will get like this if you divide both sides of the equation with x you will get like this okay finally you are going to get the same equation which I am going to find now y dash sorry y double dash minus of 2x minus 1 by x into y dash plus x minus 1 by x into y equal to 0 right then y double dash minus of here we are having two terms in the numerator and one term in the denominator so we can split the two I mean total fraction to two fractions we'll get 2x by x minus 1 by x into y dash plus x by x minus 1 by x into y equal to 0 right x gets cancelled and we'll get y double dash minus of 2 minus 1 by x into y dash plus 1 minus 1 by x into y equal to 0. See from these two we will get the same thing. Okay. Now consider this equation as equation number 1. Now compare this equation 1. Okay this is in standard form of second order linear differential equation. Now I will compare this with the standard form of linear differential equation okay compare 1 with the standard form y double dash plus py dash plus qy equal to r we have p equal to minus of 2 minus 1 by x q equal to 1 minus 1 by x and r equal to 0 right now let's find the part of complementary function using inspection method okay we're having p equal to minus of 2 minus 1 which is minus 2 plus 1 by x and q is 1 minus 1 by x right now observe these two we can try 1 plus p plus q which gives 1 p is minus 2 plus 1 by x and q is 1 minus 1 by x here 
plus 1 by x minus 1 by x gets cancelled. 1 plus 1 is 2 minus 2 equal to 0, right? Therefore, 1 plus p plus q equals to 0. Since we know that if 1 plus p plus q equal to 0, then y equal to e power x is a part of c of of 1, right? See, from the second question also, we are given e power x as a one integral part, which is nothing but the part of complementary function of 1. And here also we got the same. Therefore, y equal to e power x is the part of c of of 1, where u equal to e power x, then du by dx, derivative of u with respect to x is e power x. See, you are having u equal to e power x, right? Now, differentiate on both sides with respect to x to find derivative of u. We'll get du by dx equals to derivative of e power x with respect to x is e power x. The same thing, okay? Let y equal to u, we see we need to find the general solution of the given differential equation and the general solution is given by y equal to u. Let u v, y equal to u v be the general solution of 1. Already we are having u which is e power x but we need to find v then v is given by b square v by dx square plus p plus 2 by u into du by dx into dv by dx equal to r by u. Consider as equation number 2. Now substitute p, u, du by dx, r and u in the above equation. Then the above equation reduces to dv by dx or u square v by dx square plus p minus 2 plus 1 by x plus 2 by u e power x into derivative of u with respect to x is e power x into dv by dx equal to r by u, right? Here e power x gets cancelled and we'll get d square v by dx square plus of minus 2 plus 1 by x plus 2 into dv by dx equal to 0. Here minus 2 plus 2 gets cancelled. Then d square v by dx square plus 1 by x into dv by dx equals to 0. Now let dv by dx equals to capital V. Then d square v by dx square will be d capital V by dx. This equation becomes dv by dx plus 1 by x into v equal to 0. Now, we need to separate the variables. For that purpose, we'll take the second term to RHS. We'll get dv by dx equals to minus 1 by x into v. Now, bring this v to LHS and take the differential dx to RHS. We'll get 1 by v dv equal to minus 1 by x dx. Now, the variables are separable, so we can perform the integration. Integral 1 by v dv equal to minus integral 1 by x dx. Then log v equal to or log mod v equal to minus log mod x plus integral constant say c1. Or we can write it as log v equal to minus log x plus we can write integral constant c1 as log c1. Right? Then log v equal to, I'll write RHS part as log c1 minus log x. Since we know that log a minus log b equal to log a by b, right? Then we can write log c1 minus log x as log c1 by x. 
will get log v equal to log c1 by x. Also, we know that if log a equal to log b, then a equal to b, right? From this, we'll get v equal to c1 by x. See, we got capital V. Now, from this capital V, we find small v. Right? Now, replace capital V by dv by dx and we'll get dv by dx equals to c1 by x. Right? Now, let's separate the variables. dv equal to c1 into 1 by x into, I'll take the differential dx to RHS. Okay? Now, here the variables are separable, so we can perform integration. Integral dv equal to c1 integral 1 by x dx, right? From this we will get v equal to c1 log x plus integral constant c2 or, okay, log mod x. Or we can write it as c1 log x plus c2. So we got v now. And already we are having u. So now we can write the general solution. Therefore, the general solution is given by y equal to uv, right? Then y equal to u into v, c1 log x plus c2. From this we will get c1 e power x log x plus c2 e power x. Therefore, y equal to c1 e power x log x plus c2 e power x is the required solution. And this completes the problem. So we have seen a problem from reduction of order method in this video. Hope you'll understand. We'll see you in the next video. Until then, bye-bye.